Okay, I am in summer number four of my stucco board uh, and trim repair program at my home and it's going to be uh, completed and painted up this summer so I wanted to um, document some of my repair repairs and techniques uh, <clears throat> prior to it all being covered up. Just going to start off by uh, showing a sheet of uh, treated plywood 4x8 pretty cheap uh, about 25 bucks this is one of our doors that's going to be going in uh, you'll see where it's rusted outside and you can get a really nice uh, door with design like this on it that's fiberglass for about um, 400 bucks if you do your homework and I think that's a great deal okay here's some trim these first two are artificial trim, which is what I've put mostly on this house after I took off the cedar. Uh, the one's been painted. It's always a good idea to uh, also paint the backs of uh, any natural board that you put on. So I went ahead and just primed the most vulnerable areas, and I'll put a top coat on those. <clears throat> the reason that I went with uh, cedar here instead of the artificial is because these are going around my doors and I just wanted it to look pretty but otherwise I gave up on, on cedar as something long term and I'm going with this Miratech artificial trim which has a 30 year warranty against rotting and warping alright here's a report uh, repair that I haven't uh, totally completed yet but you can see here that <clears throat> I cut off the bottom of this vertical where it was rotted I just used a table saw or a hand saw I should say to zip right there and then you scrape off the old caulk prime it put some put a piece of bent aluminum down here aluminum flashing and then some rubber <coughs> flashing tape and I'm gonna put screws uh, there's a beam right about here and then also attach to this corner piece with some smaller screws and when that's painted that uh, is going to be a nice looking repair there'll be a little bit of caulk in here down here is a piece of the artificial trim hasn't been uh, caulked yet up at the top seam and you can see that there's a spot waiting for its piece now what we've got here is the materials that I use for repair. Starting with this little thing, which I didn't know about before, but it's a way to get out nails that are uh, in your boards. So it works out pretty good. You hit the hammer here and you gouge out the nail and then pry it out. So you're going to need one of those for sure. Um, wire brush is a good thing. Here's a piece of rotten stucco board where I have <clears throat> scraped off basically with just finger pressure or mild wild uh, wire brush pressure. You get off anything that's sort of loose on that rotten stucco board. Then what you do is you give it a couple of coats of this stuff. <clears throat> this is one of the more expensive things. It's about 10 bucks a bottle, but you know, I did my whole home with about five bottles of this so I can't complain and I've replaced 300 feet of trim so uh, anyway this stuff when you brush it on it, it turns the, the firmed up stucco board um, turns some rotten stucco board into a little bit harder rotten stucco board just where you need it and then uh, any wood that you want to harden up alright after you harden it up then what you want to do is put this weatherproof tight bond 2 glue on the repair. You basically smear this around on the spot that uh, became rotten. And you're going to want to give a couple, three coats of this. Uh, you know, just a day, one day one coat, the next day the next coat. Until you get it, it's almost like fiberglass that you're going to have on your... Uh, on your rotten spot. Okay, after this, give it a slight uh, um, 
Brillo pad or sandpaper to roughen it up a little bit and then put a coat of primer on it. I was told the one, two, three is your best primer. Then, if you need to go in <clears throat> and actually do some filling on your repair, which a lot of times you do, this is what you're going to use, this lightweight spackling, and just press it in real good into your hole. After that, you are you're going to stay on, I should say, prime it again. Then you're going to put on your top coat. Um, if it's a small repair, they can be filled in with <coughs> caulk, which is what we've got here, polyurethane caulk. Anything that isn't too deep, you might be able to get away with just filling in your repair with this, and that's it. Here's something that's really important for the long term of your home. This is paintable sealant, 100% silicone paintable sealant. So you don't have to deal with um, some of the problems that you might have with uh, an acrylic sealant or even a polyurethane sealant. And I'll show you what that looks like. Here's one last tool, painter's tool, I think they call it. And it's really good for scraping off old caulk. I ran over this one with my lawnmower. That's why that piece is busted. Okay, let me just show you a couple of pieces of trim in process. These have basically been cut to the proper size and they're ready to go on to the home. Here's some rotten trim, just so you can see. Uh, the most vulnerable spot that I've found, of course, for rotten trim is where a horizontal and a vertical come together. You are definitely going to experience wood rot over a certain amount of years. It's just a matter of time. Okay. <clears throat> What we've got up here is a couple of spots that are waiting for their wood to be put in. But uh, I haven't put on the flashing yet or the black tape on those two spots. But the glue is on there and it's very hard to finish over there. This repair hasn't been done yet. Um, this is pretty severe and it's on my overhang, which really concerned me a lot. So I actually have to enlist the help of... Um, my carpenter on this one. But what we're going to do is we're going to put the uh, <coughs> treated plywood all along that uh, area where you see the seam and the stucco board. And then on top of that, we're going to put the artificial trim. Uh, and I'm going to put a couple plugs and, and flashings in there too. So we should be able to eliminate water getting down uh, underneath this overhang which a little did get down there and it, it's a pretty scary situation okay this was one of the things that needed to be done as well it's a steel door that's 30 years old and uh, looked pretty bad but last winter when the woodpeckers were banging away at some bugs back there they really busted it up all right here's some stucco board that I took out and this part here now has been glued it's up to the gluing uh, step that I described back there and you can see I mean it's practically like fiberglass so once I prime that and get the new trim on there that's going to be around for a while I actually screwed up there shouldn't be this much of the underneath part showing I wasn't paying good attention when I took off this trim and I busted up a lot more paint than I should have just got to be careful how you pull that off all right here's some artificial trim that I already put in place a couple of years ago um, you can see it doesn't look so good because the beige is paint is chalked and dripped down to the brown but um, that's okay because this paint job is uh, 12 years old so we're gonna paint it up this summer after it's all done <clears throat> all right there's a repair there just waiting for the piece of wood I'm gonna be doing a pretty significant repair down here uh, involving the plywood and probably replacing some of the wood underneath this overhang but I'll save you that for now